What is going on guys? It's been a minute since I did a video. There's a lot I wanna talk about. Uh, lots changed and we've been getting into some new things. It is summertime, it is hot as crap outside. And with that being said, we don't really camp as much in the summertime. Honestly, I don't really camp at all in the summer. I'm more into fall, winter, and spring camping. But with that being said, uh, I will get into a couple quick things before I get into the new stuff. The, the Fiesta is still here. We just did a track day recently with it, with Jay Zilla, and went to Barber Motorsports Park for the first time, and it was absolutely epic. Uh, I'll jump in, a, I'll, I'll put in a clip in here really fast to show you guys what that looked like. Overall, had an amazing time, and it was a great new experience for me. The car did great. Um, it was really held back by me. S280 turbo, new turbo XS RFL valve, which sounds amazing. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like, and uh, that one is installed. Big brakes did fine. Tires did great. The Proxies R888Rs did fantastic for this car. Uh, could not complain. Ranger is doing good. Uh, it actually has a brand new set of Morimoto headlights just because um, I do want to These have been on for I would say close to four years now three four years and uh, I want a fresh set on there uh, New lenses so swapping in some brand new Morimoto headlights uh, Nothing went wrong with mine just putting some new ones in the truck right now is kind of just doing some weekend duties at the track days Got some new Taruka awnings. Replaced my previous Taruka awnings, shower awnings with the new stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys that more a little bit later this year. Uh, but like I said, we're not really camping. If anything, this is going to shows and events that, to kind of show uh, Scottles and Bottles events and any other type of overland events that are going on here in Georgia. Explore ST down there on the road, parked there on the curb. Uh, doing great uh we got the hood done i think i did a video on that uh things have been going really well with the cob tuning adam brunson's tune has been fantastic you guys remember the explore st got tuned by adam on e50 we've been running the e50 tune pretty much ever since we have been with adam and we have not had any issues adam has been fantastic uh with his responses and his customer service can't really complain now let's get into the new things. Um, first, let me start with Julie's bike and kind of explain to you guys uh, why we have this. Julie used to ride a long time ago. She used to do, she used to have an, like an R6. Uh, I think she had a, a Ninja at one point. So she used to ride, I didn't. With it being summer, we wanted to kind of get into something a little bit fresh. So she picked up this Yamaha R3 and I picked up this Grom. Now, this is not my first Grom. My first Grom was actually this one right here. That one was a 2024 Honda Grom SP, uh, ABS model, really nice OEM, like there wasn't much done to it. Picked it up from an MSF instructor. Now this one on the other hand is definitely not stock. It's got Olin suspension, it's got a 13 inch fat tire rear, or fatty wheel, billet wheels. And then Brembo's on the front and rear. And then this guy right here is the main difference and it is running a or Honda CB300R uh, motor that has been dropped into it. So it's 300cc in a 2020, 2022 Grom. Uh, lots of really nice upgrades. Now the story behind this Grom is kind of an interesting one because as you can see there's some marks and obviously i'm changing the color of this i'm actually going to be making it a matte black bike with the billet wheels but the previous owner of this bike uh, did not really take care of it that well um, whoever built it did an amazing job with the actual build itself uh, put a really a lot of nice parts on it but the second owner really abused it for a short period of time. Uh, I don't think he had it for very long, uh, but he was a stunt rider and uh, it did go through some abuse. Uh, but I did have a friend that kind of looked at the bike for me and said that everything kind of checks out. I've, I've put maybe about 150 miles on it. 
since I've owned it, and it's been fantastic. Like, I haven't really had any issues with it. Um, it has some nice upgrades. Uh, I, you know, obviously lots of carbon fiber, this nice seat, um, some TST parts. It did have a really crappy exhaust, so I did change out the muffler. Eventually, I'm gonna go with a high mount, um, but overall, I cannot complain. It is running an SF Grom headlight conversion on this 2022 model, so that is nice. I did add in a uh, digital volt gauge to go along with the um, <clears throat> quad lock wireless charging. So I got an extra USB port to keep my stuff charged. The camera's charged while I am riding. So I've done those little things. Uh, basically, basic maintenance has been done on the bike. I still need to change the oil this weekend, but it is flipping hot. Overall though, I'm excited to get into this a bit more. Uh, who knows, I might eventually get a big bike eventually, but I've been having fun with this thing, kind of cruising around. Still a lot of power for this chassis. Um, and then of course, you know, with Julie previously owning an R6, I think she's been kind of itching to get into an R6 again or, or a 600cc or, or bigger, but we, she's been having a lot of fun with this R3 and she's been adding a lot of her own customizations to it. Uh, she changed a lot of the bolts to do the, like the, the titanium uh, type look. Uh, she changed, so this used to be a 60th anniversary GP edition. So it had like reds, uh, local paint shop. This was originally red. So she took it to the local paint shop, changed it to color match the rest of the fairings. Uh, you can see the bolts, she changed the bolts there, bolts there, uh, did some custom decals to kind of match those bolts. Overall, she's been making it her own, and uh, oh, I, I think we've been having a lot of fun uh, riding around, going to some bike nights and checking other things out. It's been nice to, to do something different, something refreshing. I have no desire right now to get into a bigger bike. Um, like I said, we only ride maybe once or twice a week. If that, we just got a lot of other stuff going on. So hopefully this gives you guys a nice little update of everything that we've been doing. Like I said, I plan on doing a lot more videos. It's just, it's been busy. We've had a lot of stuff personally going on and just kind of getting into the swing of summer, uh, getting these bikes. And uh, if you guys wanna see more bike content, let me know, comment below. Let me know what you guys would like to see more of and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.